Hey Chiefs fans, welcome back to the channel. The Kansas City Chiefs are off to a phenomenal start this season, kicking things off with an amazing asterisk asterisk 8 minus 0 asterisk asterisk record. Each game has showcased their versatility and grit, and last Monday night was no different as the Chiefs battled it out against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was a nail-biter of a game, eventually sealing a dramatic Asterix, asterix, 30 minus 24, asterix, asterix, overtime victory. But let's not forget, the celebration was dampened a bit by some injury concerns that have everyone worrying about lineup changes for the next game. Of course, all eyes were on Patrick Mahomes and that ankle injury, but he wasn't the only one feeling the heat out there. Defensive lineman, asterix, asterix, Tan Wharton asterisk asterisk twisted his right knee during the game, resulting in a contusion that kept him out of Wednesday's practice. Head coach Andy Reid spoke to reporters and confirmed that Wharton would be sitting out due to his knee issue. Unfortunately, he didn't provide a specific timeline for his return just yet. This is a tough blow for the Chiefs, as Wharton has been a key player on the defensive line this season. He's played asterisk, asterisk, 352 snaps, asterisk, asterisk, this year. The second most among defensive tackles behind Chris Jones. With an overall grade of asterisk, asterisk, 64.4, asterisk, asterisk, and an impressive asterisk, asterisk, 69.9, asterisk, asterisk, in pass rushing. Wharton has tallied asterisk, asterisk, 15 tackles, asterisk, asterisk. Asterix, asterix, 2.5 sacks, asterix, asterix, and a asterix. Asterix forced fumble, asterix, asterix, making him critical to the Chiefs' defensive puzzle. So, what does this mean for Sunday's game? Well, it's still uncertain if Wharton will be ready to play. But don't forget, Kansas City's defensive line is well equipped. They're led by the standout Chris Jones who has been stellar this season with asterisk, asterisk, 17 tackles, asterisk, 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 four tackles for loss, asterisk, asterisk, and asterisk, asterisk, three sacks, asterisk, asterisk. And speaking of momentum, the Chiefs have a strong track record against the Denver Broncos, winning asterisk, asterisk, 16 of their last 17 games, asterisk, asterisk against them since 2015. That gives us plenty of reason to believe the Chiefs can keep the streak going, even with these injury concerns. But before we dive deeper into what this means for our upcoming match, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a Chiefs update. And if you're enjoying this breakdown, smash that like button to show your support. As we gear up for Sunday's game, let's stay optimistic about our boys in red and gold. Injury struggles are tough, but this team has proven its resilience time and again. We'll keep you updated as more news rolls in. Thanks for tuning in, Chiefs Kingdom. Catch you next time. And as always, go Chiefs.